Did you know that new research in 2025 is showing that a few simple daily habits can improve symptoms in ankylosing spondylitis? I'm Dr. Banasali, a rheumatologist, and today I'll share five daily habits backed by the latest science that may help with pain, stiffness, and long-term outcomes. Habit number one, keep moving. But here's the surprise. It's not just gentle stretching that helps. High intensity exercise may actually be very effective for people who have ankylosing spondylitis. For decades, rheumatologists, including myself, because I've been practicing for over a decade and a half, cautioned patients not to push too hard. The concern was always if you exercise too much, you may flare your disease, and that's still possible. So the standard advice was to focus on stretching, maybe light cardio, but don't overdo it. Well, a big randomized trial just proved the opposite. And when I say big, big in the ankylosing spondylitis world, because 100 patients is not huge by any means, but in AS, we don't have many trials with exercise. And this was a fairly good one. It had a lot of different parameters they were checking. So they took 100 people with AS and put them through a three-month high-intensity program. This was real workouts, not just stretching. We're talking cardio that gets you out of breath, and strength training for big muscle groups, like squats, presses, and rows. And here's what happened. Back and hip pain dropped by almost two points on the scale. The scale was one to 10. Fatigue went down by more than one point, and even overall disease scores improved. And even more impressive, their heart health got a boost. VO2 fitness jumped, waistlines shrank, and inflammation markers came down, like the CRP. Now here's the kicker. About 40% of these people were already on anti-TNF biologic drugs. These are the heavy hitter medications that cost tens of thousands of dollars per year. But the rest of the people in the study were not on biologics. And despite all this, adding exercise made a measurable difference. And unlike medications, these exercises don't come with side effects aside from maybe having to purchase a new pair of sneakers or if you count sweaty t-shirts. Although of course you can only do it to what's your limit. So the next time somebody tells you that high intensity exercise is dangerous for ankylosing spondylitis, there's a study that proves that it could be very helpful. Again, you have to look at your own body and what you're capable of and you need to talk to your healthcare team to see if this would work for you. However, there is some data out there now for it. That said, if you can't do these short, high intensity interval exercises, any kind of movement is still better than none. Habit number two, support your gut. It talks to your spine. A July 2025 study discovered that immune cells can carry bacterial DNA from the gut all the way to the joints, triggering inflammation. This is one reason why the Mediterranean diet, which is rich in fiber, fruits, vegetables, and fermented foods, might make a difference. What you eat shapes your microbiome and potentially your joints. And remember, if you can't tolerate certain foods like fermented foods, it is possible still to improve by just taking small amounts of them. You could start with just a tablespoon of miso broth or a little bit of sauerkraut juice and see how that works for you as you slowly build up. Habit number three, don't rely on fish oil pills. Here's a myth buster. Omega-3 supplements have been studied in ankylosing spondylitis and a recent meta-analysis showed that there was no clear benefit. But while it doesn't help in AS, omega-3 pills can help in other conditions. The most benefit so far that we're seeing in the literature is in heart disease. For example, lowering triglycerides, reducing the risk of cardiac death, and they can also help in other conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, general inflammation overall, especially as it was tied to CRP levels, and perhaps in mental health, there was a tie over there as well as eye health. Jury is still mixed, but for dry eye syndromes, there are some suggestions that omega-3 could potentially help. And if you're not sure about the pills, don't worry, you can still get it in your food, and it has so many different benefits if you do it that way. For example, foods like walnuts, flax seeds, remember to grind them, and chia also provide omega-3 along with fiber and antioxidants. Habit number four, protect your sleep. Poor sleep with ankylosing spondylitis is not just annoying. It's actually linked to worse physical function and lower fitness levels. Build some small rituals, consistent bedtimes, morning light exposure, and supportive pillows for your spine because there's a lot of issues with spine misalignment, inflammation along the spine, you're uncomfortable when you sleep, find what works for you. Because actually in this condition, rest is recovery and it's a piece of the inflammation puzzle. Habit number five, quit smoking and watch your weight. These are two lifestyle factors that can really make a difference. Smoking not only worsens inflammation, but it also can reduce how well biologic medications can work. And higher body weight has been linked to worsened outcomes and the medications that we use may not work as long or as well. Tackling these can make your current medications potentially more effective. 
Remember, you cannot cure ankylosing spondylitis, not yet at least, but we can treat it and we can use anti-inflammatory medications. Not everybody can tolerate those or they may not be enough. You might be advancing despite that, at which point doing other lifestyle factors are important, but you may need actual medications. So it's important to see a rheumatologist. But along with that, you can do other things that could potentially help you feel better. Sometimes you may not need to move on to the biologics and sometimes you may, but instituting these daily habits can still affect how you feel and hopefully we can help you feel your best. So try these five habits that are backed by new science. Keep moving, nourish your gut, skip the supplement hype, protect your sleep, avoid smoking, and maintain a healthy weight. Hopefully boost your quality of life and long-term outcomes. Share with someone you think could benefit from tips for ankylosing spondylitis. See you next time, Dr. Banasali with Plant Forward MD.